Hello, BTEC Applied Science Unit 16, which is the astronomy unit. And I'm going to talk about the first assignment, assignment A. So what's assignment A all about? Now, uh, it's research and report. You will get an assignment brief. You go off and you find out loads of information about this, that and the other and you write a report on it. Uh, your teacher should explain bits and pieces to you, um, but basically a lot of the information, it's up to you to find it out. There are three sections. Uh, the first section is about what's in the solar system, the different bits and pieces in the solar system. Uh, the second section is about the Earth, the Moon and the Sun and the interactions between them. And then the third section is just about the sun. OK, so. Section one. Now, what's in the solar system? This isn't a checklist. This is just some guidance. Uh, talk to your teacher. Look at the criteria for past merit and distinction. That will tell you what needs to be in there. This is just some guidance. OK. Uh, you need to do uh, a poster of the solar system okay do a nice poster of the solar system you do it yeah don't just find it on the internet uh, with notes on all the different bits and pieces in there the sun and the planets and the asteroid belt and the kuiper belt and you know a few bits and pieces okay the solar system an explanation of what keeps things in orbit around the sun could you explain orbit? How does gravity keep things in orbit around the sun? And say what Kepler's laws are. Kepler's laws describes the orbit of things, of the orbit of planets around the sun. Uh, you should do detailed information about each of the planets. Okay, and there's a big list of stuff which you should include, uh, their composition, their atmosphere, the axis, axes of rotation, how much tilted it is, their diameter, their mass, the number of moons, orbital radius, orbital period, uh, if they have rings or not. Um, all of that, like I would say about half a page for each planet, plus you can put that information in a table as well. A lot of the numeric information can go in a table. Information about some interesting moons, such as Titan, Triton, Io, maybe one or two others. Some interesting moons. Uh, a description of other things in the solar system, such as asteroids, uh, comets, the Kuiper Belt, and the Oort Cloud. Okay, about half a page on each of those, saying where it is and what it is anything else interesting about it. So other things in the solar system. In this and the other two sections, lots of diagrams, lots of pictures, a well-structured report has an introduction, has subheadings, uh, plenty of detail. For example, about the planets, my light's just gone off, uh, about half a page for each planet, half a page about asteroids uh, and a sources table. Don't forget a sources table. Section two is about the interactions between the Earth and the Moon and the Sun. OK, how the Earth and the Moon and the Sun interact with each other. OK, uh, explanations with diagrams of why we have day and night. Uh, the lunar phase cycle explain why the Moon looks different. OK, the lunar phase cycle, solar eclipses, nice detail about those lunar eclipses. What causes tides on Earth? Again, plenty of detail. I mean, for solar eclipses, at least a page. There's lots you can say about them. What causes them? What do they look like? How long do they last? How often are they? Um, plenty of detail. Section two, most of the merit criteria is section two, most of it. Then section three is about the sun. And this is the hardest section. This is the trickiest to understand. Uh, 
a poster of the life cycle of a star like the Sun. You'll have done this at GCSE. You start with a nebula, then a protostar, then main sequence, and then red giant, etc. that stuff, with an explanation of what's happening at each stage and why it happens. Uh, a description of the forces acting inside the sun and how the balance between these forces changes throughout the life of the sun. In the sun, there are forces pushing outwards because it's basically a, a fusion bomb and then gravity pulling inwards. And at certain times, these forces may or may not be in equilibrium. Uh, a description of nuclear fusion which is where the energy comes from inside the sun. Uh, a description of the layers of the sun. The sun has three internal layers and three external layers. Uh, the composition of the sun, what it's made of. Uh, the magnetic forces and how the magnetic forces affect what's happening at the surface of the sun, including sunspots, the sunspot cycle. I would like you to, well, I want my students to explain the sunspot, sunspot cycle. What is it? What causes it? And then how the sun affects other objects in the solar system uh, and what the consequences will be uh, to the solar system, particularly to the Earth, when the sun reaches the end of its life. When the sun starts to run out of fuel and it becomes a red giant, what will happen? What effects will it have on the rest of the solar system, particularly on Earth? OK, do a good job of that. In fact, as I said, section three is distinction stuff. So you need to do a good job of it if you're after a distinction. Plenty of detail, plenty of diagrams, lots of good explanation. And that's that.